Okay, this is How to Flirt by High School Rich. One of my many nicknames in high school was Pimp Daddy Rich, and it was applied ironically, believe it or not. I was not very smooth with the ladies. There used to be this restaurant in town called Jungle Jims and Safari Joes, and it was kind of like a Dave and Buster's for kids. Um, it was a burger and pizza joint. One day I decided to hop in for a burger and a shake. And when I get there, it's packed. There's a bus from out of town and all the kids there are having some kind of dance. So I go inside and I order a burger and a shake. Just as I'm about to leave, uh, this slow song comes on. And I look around and I see that there's only a couple people on the dance floor. And um, like all the boys are on one side and all the girls are lined up on the other side and nobody's doing anything. And I realized that I didn't know anybody in this entire restaurant. They were all out of town kids and uh, nobody knew who I was. So I decided since I didn't have anything to lose that I would be bold and I would just walk up to the hottest girl I saw and ask her to dance. So I muster up the courage, I walk up to the hottest girl out there and I say, hey, do you want to dance? And she looks at me and she says, no. And so I stood there for a split second and I was thinking, well, that was awkward. But then she says, but my friend will. So out of nowhere, her friend pops out. And I don't remember exactly what she looked like. I just remember that she was not the hottest girl there, but I didn't want to seem like a shallow jerk, so I just danced with her. And um, while we were dancing, she was asking me all kinds of questions about my school. And I told her I, I didn't much care for it. And I, I made a couple jokes about it and she laughed. And I remember I felt really good that I was able to make her laugh and that I had the courage to actually get up and ask somebody. So a couple minutes later, the song ends and I thank her for the dance and then I just turn and I walk out the door, I get in my car and I just drive off. And I'm pretty sure I didn't tell anybody about that moment.